Okay, what is the best choice for match moving in Blender 2.58? Um, I've looked at several and I'm still really stuck on PF Ho. Um, great price and great, uh, what would you say, um, very, very easy use. Uh, PF Ho Pro I would recommend because it if you go through their website pfho.com you can see that it does a lot more export formats and more importantly two things it's available in Linux and it supports image sequences so that's sort of veering towards the professional end of things rather than just the hobbyist uh, now there's another thing that you need so certainly purchase that um, $199 for PFO Pro 2 I'm not sure if that's US dollars. Um, uh, you'll need to go to Blender, go to the Downloads button up the top, and you'll need to get a version 2.49 initially to make it work. So up here we've got um, Get Blender, and then the Documentation Source Code Resources. Underneath that you can see older versions. So if you click on that, that will take you through to their archive. You click on the release and then it will open up and you, you grab what you need to grab. Um, I just grabbed 2.49, don't worry about 2.49A or B. And then it's a matter of opening up PFO Pro and then clicking through the first button imports your footage so I'll import this load and it loads in and then you can go through go through the wizard or go through manually um, how is the camera moving it's free motion next is the camera zooming no it's not constant uh, vocal length and finish and then just simply work through the buttons here and it calculates lens distortion and then it adds all the little tracker markers to all the pixels and measures it frame by frame as to how they change and then you click 3D button here and export it will give you lots of options export it as a blender python file and then I don't want to save that so I'll go into 2.49 okay and then change the main view if I can make it work so I can change it to text editor then I go to text open and find my .py file, my Python file, open the text file so it's come in and then it's just a matter of running the Python script Alt P or Option P if you're on the Mac like me. So you click that and it's done its thing then you change it back to 3D view and lo and behold all the tracker markers and the camera solver has come in and here you see in the timeline all the keyframes have been put in according to the tracker markers. Now how to get it into 2.58 if we go to file external data and we want the top one pack into blend file so that packs all that data into a blend file so we'll do that click and uh, save and we'll call that um, PFO and then say click the save as save that out okay so saved out then we go to 2.58 default scene and let's make sure the cursor is in the middle and then we open what are we looking for PFO open the blend file you can see all the keyframes have come in, the camera and all the tracking markers have come in. We hit the zero key on our number pad. 
so we're into the and then we can create a little bit of a scene to see if it works so what we'll do we'll add a a plane hit the S key hit the number 10 to scale it up A to unselect then shift A what should we put uh, monkey hit the Z key to just so we can see what we're actually looking at and just raise that above the floor and then if you just hit the play key you can see that the monkey is moving with the uh, all the tracking markers so you have a perfect uh, match move now the other thing to do is a lot of people <coughs> excuse me a lot of people uh, export out the m movie uh, actually with it as a background within blender but s professionally speaking this is not the way to do it what you do is just render out an image sequence with an alpha transparency channel uh, and a shadow catcher floor so you're just rendering out the shadow and not the floor um, and then in something like After Effects or Shake or Nuke um, you'd actually composite both the image sequence over the top of the video and you're done you've got your clean match move